how I prepare de-stress. Sup <laughs> guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make my kale salad with grilled chicken. Now before you click out of this video, let me tell you that this kale salad is covered in such a delicious dressing. You will love kale no matter how you already feel about it, I promise you. This is perfect for meal prepping, so if you're trying to lose weight or just reach your fitness goals, this is perfect for that. And I know for a fact you guys will love this recipe. It's healthy, delicious, so what more could you ask for? Without further ado, let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need some freshly washed kale that's nice and crisp. You're also gonna need an array of vegetables. You can use really whatever you want, but today I'm using some cherry tomatoes, green pepper, orange pepper, cucumber, and some carrots. And then this is the star of the show, which is the dressing. You're gonna need some olive oil, extra virgin is best, some minced garlic, Dijon mustard, array of spices. I have salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and of course, Italian seasoning, whatever. Judge me all you want. I use it all the time, I know. And then you're also gonna need the juice of a lemon. And of course, you're gonna need some chicken. Now, I use basically all the same spices that we're gonna be using in the dressing. I put some salt, some pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and of course, some Italian seasoning because those are just the best spices in the world, at least to me. And when you throw this on the grill, a charcoal grill, amazing things happen. I'm telling you, you will die when you cut into that piece of chicken and taste it. Pass out, straight pass out. So you wanna throw the chicken on the grill and make sure you cook it until the internal temperature is 165 degrees, no less because you want it to be fully cooked through but not dried out. Mm. So while the chicken is on the grill, we're gonna go ahead and make our killer dressing. So into my mason jar, I'm just gonna pour some good quality extra virgin olive oil. I never really measure the quantities. I kind of just eyeball it every single time. Now to our olive oil, we're gonna add our garlic, minced garlic. That garlic's gonna infuse the oil as it sits and it's so delicious. Now you add your Dijon mustard. To that you're gonna add your spices. I'm gonna get this lemon squeezed. Now you can choose to use way more lemon juice than I do if you really like a lemony flavor. Go ahead and add that in. Now we pop on the lid and shake it like a mad woman. That looks amazing and it smells amazing. All right, so this looks perfect. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside while we chop up our kale. So when you go to the grocery store, you wanna make sure you're getting really good crisp kale. Touch the leaves with your fingers. They should be stiff and like hard a little bit. You don't want them to be too flimsy and soft because it's just not gonna make a good salad. So I'm gonna show you how to chiffonade this, which means cutting it into small pieces. That way the dressing gets on every last bit. You just roll it really tight. You hold it. Make sure you're tucking your hand, your fingers under so you don't chop them off. Run the knife through, and you can see that's a really nice small cut. It's perfect because it gets a little bit more dressing with each and every bite. Instead of it being big pieces, you get very little dressing. So I have my kale nice and chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my vegetables in. And then to that, we're gonna add the dressing. Now you only add a little bit at a time. You can always add more, but you can never take it away. I like to add a little bit of feta cheese. So you wanna keep folding in that dressing because the kale is kind of bitter. And so when you add the dressing, you're kind of massaging it into the kale. So it makes it less bitter and a lot more palatable. So once your chicken comes out, you can go ahead and slice it up. Mm, oh gosh, it just smells so good. I can't even explain it. And that little bit of burnt on it, Tastes amazing. So it's just me and my husband having dinner today, so I'm just gonna put it on a normal plate, and then I pack on my chicken, and then any leftover dressing, I drizzle it right over top. Oh, for the sake of this video, I really wanted to show you guys how I would meal prep this. Now, suggestion, I would not make this for an entire week. The kale will wilt, the chicken will no longer taste good. I really don't think that chicken breast tastes good after a week long. You really shouldn't even leave it in the fridge for more than three days cooked. It's just the rule of cooking, you don't ever do that. So I suggest you can make this for like a Monday through Wednesday. And if you do wanna put it in meal prep containers, make sure you keep the kale separate from the vegetables because the vegetables have a lot of moisture. And if you put it right on top of the kale, there's a chance that all that moisture will make the kale wilt. You can add your dressing when you're ready to have lunch that day and then just put the lid on it and shake it like a mad woman and then everything will combine together just the same way as if you were to toss it together. Mm. I'm not even trying to make this seem more delicious than it is. It really is this good. <coughs> Sorry. 
Now, if you guys are anything like me, you probably follow a billion people on Instagram that are involved in fitness, motivation, and meal prepping. And I have one favorite in particular. This girl is stinking awesome. She goes so hard in the gym and she actually has her own meal prepping thing going on. So if you want to hit her up, go over there and tell her I sent you. She's super motivational and a friend of mine. And I really think you guys would like her page if you're into that sort of thing. So go ahead and check her out. I'll also leave her link in the description box below. So if you guys want to remake this recipe, just look below in the description. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button and also share it because it helps me out so much. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have many more recipes to come. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace out.